when it comes to medical technology, Australia's up there with the best when it comes to introducing new med medical technology. In some cases, my home country's been at the leading edge of medical technology. And again, Melbourne researchers have come up with what I consider to be one of the best medical technology inventions of the past few years. It's news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, researchers at the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology have developed a silicon fabric dotted with thousands of sensors that could be used to prevent elderly falling out of bed, alerting aged care staff to issues with elderly with the ultimate goal of being able to measure breathing and heart rate. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is news time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Tuesday morning. And I sort of mentioned this at the beginning of last night's Backyard Tech Channel live stream conversations because I've got to be honest with you, this is good medical technology news. Now, any medical technology news is good news, but I'm sort of blowing the trumpet here for it basically coming out of Melbourne. A little bit of testing in Sydney, I think, but the majority of it's come out of, uh, come out of Melbourne. This is from 9news.com.au here in Melbourne. World first fabric could stop elderly falling from beds. This is just unbelievable. Um, when I saw this story last night on the news, I sat up. <laughs> I, I actually sat up and, and took note of this. So, uh, Melbourne researchers have unveiled breakthrough technology that will help prevent elderly people suffering nasty falls. Researchers from RMIT, or as I said, Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology, have spent the past five years developing a silicon fabric dotted with thousands of sensors that will be used to monitor sleep. Now, they're, they're aiming this primarily at the elderly end of the spectrum, but there's no reason this could not be used in other areas like hospitals, um, at home, etc. You know, children's... Um, the very sick, you know, all sorts of stuff. The fabric could be weaved into bedding like mattress protectors with sensors reading whether or not a person is in bed. Now, in aged care, you do get, and I only know this because I've got people I know that work in the aged care area, um, both night and day shift. And... Um, a lot of age, a lot of elderly people, especially with dementia and, and other such medical problems, often have insomnia or they'll get up and start to wander at night and they get disorientated. So this would allow carers to monitor an, a, a, an elderly person without having to get up and check them. See, the problem you've got at the moment, and this is from people who've told me about this, is the fact that, you know, um, the other half's sister-in-law, works in aged care and she's got to go around every couple of hours to check that someone's in bed whereas this would be able to tell the person hey listen Joe Bloggs has got out of bed and he's wandering around at two o'clock in the morning uh, quote we're not attaching anything to the skin that would normally be done through attachments to the body close quote Cameron Van Den Duggan of sleep type told nine news when elderly patients go to bed, nursing staff want to be able to know what's going on without interrupting a patient's sleep. Now, in age, certain aged care facilities run basically like a hospital. They're doing rounds every two or three hours, checking on patients, making sure they're still alive, etc., etc., etc. For instance, if a patient has dementia and they may leave the bed, while others may need their heart rate monitored through the night, in addition to determining whether someone has left the bed or not, the end goal is to be able to monitor breathing and heart rates. Now, like I said, they're starting off with the elderly, but there's no reason this cannot be implemented elsewhere within medical fraternity, for want of a better term. Hospitals, um, psych wards, um, etc. You know. Um, quote, for example... 
if you've got a carer with 10 beds under their control, which is, I'm led to believe, fairly standard, will be able to alert them to any potential issues in certain rooms, which means they can be most efficient with their time, Mr Van, D Van Den Duggan said. So th this is good medical technology. This is, like I said, Australia is at the leading edge of medical inventions. We have been for decades. Um, some of the top medical f research facilities and inventions facilities around the country is Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, Perth and Adelaide. You know, each one of them. I, you know, um, different surgery techniques, medical technology inventions, you know, look at the cochlear ear implant, you know, all this type of stuff, transplant technology, you know, Australia's been leading, the, not leading all the way, but we've been up there with the best. Um, the federal government has invested $1.7 million with hope, and that's Australian dollars, with the hopes it could extend beyond helping the elderly, and this was what we discussed last night on the channel. The team said it. The team said it has the potential to be applied to newborns and used in cots in a bid to prevent SIDS. Okay. Right, what else can you say? I mean, it is absolutely brilliant. Now, five years to develop this. A lot of effort's been put into it. RMIT, in association also with two other big. Um, universities, well, nearly three big universities here in Melbourne, um, Melbourne University, Monash University and Deakin to an extent, as well as RMIT and that, are at the forefront of some of the biggest medical technology systems we've got in the country, right, that are homegrown here. As I said last night, th this is the... Um, bit of fabric here. This is the silicon Im embedded with thousands of sensors. And it literally is like silicon. It is very elastic. You know, and I, j I just think this is brilliant. You know, I, I know I'm blowing the horn for Melbourne here, but the as, I, as you can see, you know, SIDS is a horrific condition. I mean, if you get an odd I hope I never have to go through it. Believe you me, I really hope I never have to go through it. But you listen to the stories of, you know, families, you know, being torn to pieces because their newborn has died of SIDS. Something like this could alert them to that very quickly. So, you know, as you can see here, the, the, the current goal is the elderly, but there's no reason if it's successful with the elderly, it can't be right through. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to newborns at the moment, we all know there's plenty of medical monitoring devices available to newborns, okay? There's um, pads and, and, and all that type of stuff that will alert. There's, I believe there's like um, ECGs that you can put on your newborn, but that, like it says in the article here, that requires you putting stuff on the skin. This requires you putting nothing on the skin. At all. As you can see, it can be woven into into the, you know, the sheets. I, this is brilliant. This is really, really good technology. And I think, you know, with the federal government investment, and I will give our federal government um, credence on this, <laughs> Um, when it comes to this sort of stuff, they will give the money. When it comes to medical technology like this that, that is shown to be of value, the government will invest. There's a lot of things the government probably should still invest in, but at least they've dropped $1.7 into this, which I think is great. But there we go. A good news medical story, medical technology, coming out of my hometown. <laughs> Stick around. We'll see what else crops up throughout the day. Until then, as always, we shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.